As South Africa's law enforcement agencies work to limit the damage to the fiscus from state capture, rifts are deepening in the governing party around whether high-ranking office bearers should step aside from their posts when charged with corruption. Masa Kakan examines where this leaves ANC Secretary General Ace Mahashule. The police arrived early to set up their barricades outside the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court. Large crowds were expected. This was the stage on the 19th of February where the latest ANC political drama unfolded. Another in a series that frequently takes the country to the brink and back. The protagonists, Secretary General of the ruling party Ace Mahashule and Cyril Ramaphosa, President of the Republic. We want to send a message to Cyril Ramaphosa. You must leave Ace alone. Their titanic battle for the soul of the ANC spilled out onto Bloemfontein streets where Mahashule's supporters were in a fighting mood. In November 2020, Mahashule was charged with 21 counts of corruption and fraud for his alleged role as the former Premier of the Free State in a 255 million rand asbestos eradication project. The project was meant to audit and later remove the asbestos rooftops on Free State Township houses and be complete by 2019. Millions were paid to politically connected companies. For his alleged role, Mahashule is also charged with money laundering. People got rich, but the asbestos roofs remain, even today. But for his supporters, these charges were not seen as an attempt to finally cleanse the ANC of its corruption, but instead as a political hit from the Ramaphosa faction. NEC member of the MK Military Veterans Association, Carl Niehaus. This is a political trial. It is not a trial based on the fact that Comrade Ace had done anything criminally wrong. On the 19th of February, Mahashule was summoned for a second appearance. He arrived early, striding in, looking confident. How are you, SG? How are you? How are you? Are you How are you feeling? Well, yeah. I'm well, feeling yeah. like a fish in the river. Mm. Yeah. It was easy to see why Mahashule felt like a fish in the river. While he was inside the court with the prosecution joining additional accused to the case, outside, behind the police lines, the crowds were firmly in Mahashule's corner. Do you think Mr. Mahashule is innocent? Oh yes, but the court will prove that. At the end of the day, the truth will be known to the public. I don't believe that a man of his stature can be associated with wrongdoing. Professor of Politics at UJ, Mkodi Sinte Jana, is skeptical about the Bloemfontein crowds. You have a lot of unemployed people in South Africa. The ANC does this all the time. They give them money, they give them food, they give them fancy ANC shirts. The problem of a rented crowd is an established long-standing problem within the ANC. Ngolisi Dugwana, a former ACE ally and now one of his biggest detractors, knows Mahashule well. Sometimes we confuse confidence with arrogance, especially when you don't comprehend the magnitude of what we are facing. But the truth is, he never expected that he will be where he is today. It is not confidence, it is arrogance. Despite the lockdown regulations, a stage had been erected where his supporters amassed, waiting for their political icon to leave court and address them. We are Zuma! Zuma is us! We are Ace! Ace is us! If President Ramaphosa was paying attention, the message out of Bloemfontein was loud and clear. Hands off Mahashule and Mahashule for president of the country. The AG is going nowhere. The AG will stay until you are saying as the branches. You want AG to be president? Exactly. I am here today to support the incoming president of the Republic of South Africa, Ace Mahashule. So Ace Mahashule has presidential ambitions, but does he have a real shot at the top job? His supporters seem to think so, and certain journalists are beginning to consider the possibility. This from the Daily Mavericks' Richard Poplack. 
There is magical thinking in polite South African society that ANC Secretary General Ace Mahashila's political demise is imminent. In the real world, Ace is in the strongest position to wield the final killing blow. He is perhaps the greatest threat democratic South Africa has ever faced. Roy Jankelson, leader of the opposition in the Free State, has clashed with Mahashule and never underestimates him. Es Mahashule is an expert at manipulating internal ANC elective structures and controlling branches. He perfected this formula in the Free State and he's taken this formula to national level where he's been doing exactly the same thing in the Tuli House. I don't think it's too alarmist or too unrealistic to imagine an Ace Mahashule presidency in South Africa. <laughs> what the hell is Ray smoking? Glejana <laughs> says public outrage at corruption has in fact weakened Mahashule. Then you had thievery of money meant for sick people who were dying. Then it was, you know, an outrage. And Cyril Ramaphosa picked that up and used that public outrage to embolden his own position, to strengthen himself within the ANC. And so ACE is now being kind of swept away by that wave of outrage. Mahashule has a top legal team, but it's still not a walk in the park for him. There are 16 accused, including five companies, more than 70 counts of corruption in total, and more than 40 state witnesses. In August, the pre-trial begins in the Bloemfontein High Court. There's a huge possibility that he will be convicted. Even if he is not convicted, his, his integrity is really in question. I mean, are South Africans really that morally depraved that they would vote for someone like that? In August 2020, the National Executive Committee of the ANC decided this that cadres of the ANC who are formally charged for corruption or other serious crimes must immediately step aside from all leadership positions in the ANC, legislatures or other government structures pending the finalization of their cases. But it's three months since Ace Mahashule was formally charged and he has said he is going nowhere. On Friday, he was chauffeured through the Bloemfontein streets in an Audi Q8. So how serious is the NEC about its own guidelines? It is eminent. Uh, this thing is going to come to a head at some point. And they will say, we finalized these guidelines, here you are. At that point, he's going to be forced to say, no, I'm not going anywhere. Then they're going to have to uh, push him out. But why the delay if the ANC is serious about cleaning up corruption? This is not an easy subject for the ANC to deal with because at some point they did encourage corruption. So, so corruption was a subculture in the ANC. So all of a sudden now they are having to act to clean themselves up and how far do you go? And, and if I take the lead in this anti-corruption campaign, someone else might bring up my file. I might be next. It's the 80 or so NEC members of the ANC that determine the top leadership of the country. Control the NEC, control the ANC, and you control the country, says Poplak. Is that what Mahashule and his Radical Economic Transformation, or RAT, supporters who oppose white monopoly capital want? His supporters are calling for a special general conference. Why would they want that? They think that by calling a National General Council, they claim that they will then remove the president, demonstrating how ill-informed some of these people who claim to be members of the ANC are. And uh, you don't have uh, members of the ANC thinking that uh, they can go in as RET forces and forcing themselves and do whatever they want. It's not going to happen. Meanwhile, at Nkandla, another flank of the RET faction is giving President Ramaphosa a headache as former President Jacob Zuma digs in and defies a constitutional court order. This week, in a scathing affidavit, the State Capture Commission said Zuma should be sentenced to two years imprisonment because he intentionally and unlawfully failed to appear at the commission in February. However, if he complies, they won't execute on the warrant. Either way, the Republic wins. Uh, the issue is about accountability. If he shows up before Zondo and sits there for a grilling, that alone is a sufficient win 
to hold him accountable, to expose him. Right? For us to, to celebrate as a democracy, we need not necessarily have to see Zuma going to prison over this. So the storms are once again on the horizon of our political landscape as both Ace Mahashule and Jacob Zuma face the full might of the law in the coming months. Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content.